Welcome back. Now, I am so excited to introduce my next guest for this evening. I've been a big fan of her since she was 13 when she became famous, or should I say infamous, for killing a woman called Heidi. The police are yet to find the body. Where's the body? No, wait, I'm mistaken. <laughs> killing Heidi. <laughs> Killing Heidi was an ARIA award-winning band. Since then, our guest has gone on to be a team captain on Spicks and Specs, a regular fixture on Australian radio, and she has just released her new solo album, In Tongues. It's, it's such an amazing album. I'm so excited right now. Please welcome Ella Hooper. Hi. Hi. There you go. Thank oh, you. Nice. I'm talking to you like a little bit. It's so good. Welcome. Oh, thank okay. you. Hi. Hey. Oh, these mics are really oh, sharp. I <laughs> thank you so much for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me. No, it's great here. Especially because you've just had an epic weekend. I have. I've come, I'm fresh off the, the train from the countryside yoga retreat. And before that, recording my new, new album. The new, new album. The new, new. New, new, new. Okay, so let's, hey, we'll go. Yeah. Firstly, uh, just the, the single new album, yes. In Tongues. Yeah, that's right. It's very exciting. So that was released last November. Yes. I love it. I saw you at the launch. I was at right. the launch. Yeah. <laughs> I felt really fancy. It's like, yeah, I'm at, a, I'm at a CD. No, not a CD launch when I'm in the 90s. <laughs> hey, I'm still living in the 90s too. And Let's keep it there. Launch. Yeah. Um, it is such an amazing album and Thank it's you. so varied. It's it jumps all over the place. There's a lot of rock in there, the stuff that kind of sounds like old you, and then there's yeah. a lot of new fancy stuff in there. Yeah, I wanted to, I definitely wanted to sort of explore new areas musically and push myself into new um, sort of sonic landscapes. And I, it took me a really, really long time to sonic, find a new sound yeah. and find new collaborators. And I scrapped it a number of times. It was really, I felt a lot of pressure, which was probably mainly in my own head. But I never I've never done a solo record before. Yeah. And I, I made a point of not working with anyone I had worked with before. So I wanted to sort of take away all my old comfortable things and just throw myself in the deep end and eventually got there and I'm really happy with it. That's big though, because I've heard that the album took a little while to come together. Mm -hmm. I didn't realise that you'd scrapped other stuff. I remember the Scissor Sisters did that for their latest album, I think. Really? And when I read that, I was just like, you've scrapped. And yeah. How, was that terrifying? Yeah, you just feel like a maniac. You feel like you've yeah. lost your mind. Like, what am I doing? And also, I have these conversations with my manager, which I wish, you know, I could tape them and watch them back later, where he just goes, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> he puts his head in his hands and just goes, sure thing, whatever you want. Let's start again. Or, you know, let's... You know that song that really sounds like a hit? Well, it's just its just too much like a hit. Let's get rid of that one, you know. <laughs> Been there, done that, and he just goes, Ugh. You are such an artist. Yeah. Oh, oh, my boy. God. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of comedians in Melbourne probably feeling very the same at the moment because <laughs> we're moving towards Comedy Festival and it's True. that similar. Like, I can only kind of think back to those things where you do, you scrap a whole bit, and then you're like, ah, what am I yeah. doing? But I know it works, but I need to move on. Oh, we're so tortured. We do it to ourselves. We suck. I know. <laughs> but the new album, it's, it's so how wears it out at the moment. It's feeling amazing like I, I as you know I did the launch and it was really great I'm getting vinyl made too which is Ooh. again a first for me I've never had my music committed to wax before nice. so I feel like instead of becoming a proper adult proper musician when I get my vinyl back in the mail in about a month's time and I'm doing a little bit of touring in New South Wales in February yeah and I'm just out there I'm getting some play on Double J which is the fantastic digital yeah. station so if you tune in there you can hear the singles and you can hear the stuff off in tongues that's getting played there and it just feels so good I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulder and I'm already working on the next one yeah which is yeah. it's keep the momentum exactly I guess it's all about that sort of thing. Exactly. Now, you also mentioned before we uh, before we got started that you really wanted to talk about Star Wars, and I'm really happy to do that. Paul, are you happy to do that? I'm more than happy. Well, to I do just that. want you guys to tell me stuff, basically, because I'm so excited. But I'm I'm definitely a part time nerd. I don't claim full nerd status, but I I definitely am a fan. I I, I kind of flit yeah. around the fringes. I'm a fringe nerd. Yeah, I've got my things like Harry Potter is yeah. my main nerd thing, my main yeah. nerd avenue. But Star Wars is just oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited, and my brother and I it was one of our things growing up we actually reenacted talk about that Harry Potter reenacting we could do you like all of Star Wars basically and of course I'm Leia and he would be Luke and then Han and you know we'd make our dog a Wookiee and all of that <laughs> stuff so the, the bad <laughs> thing was for me my sister it was um, Phantom Menace which is the bad <laughs> one no. we could so no who's so Jar Jar Binks like your worst friend the kid that you don't actually like your Jar Jar your Jar Jar I'm the one who built Jar Jar yeah exactly your Jar Jar oh now your Jar Jar <laughs> my thing and Paul you might actually be able to help me out with this my fear with the new Star I'm gonna was your favourite character Han uh, I don't know, actually. I think I just... No, I was a bit of a... Well, I do love Han, but I, I really couldn't even pick a favourite. They're just... When I think about them, 
actually no, what am I saying? Ewoks. I was mad oh, for I Ewoks. Know. And then and there's that one where the, the one dies and yeah, the, yeah, that. Oh, oh, just anything. Oh my god, that forest moon of Endor, just all of it, all of it. Well my favourite character was Han, and there is a rumour that he's getting a lot of weight that he's gonna in the next film. <gasps> Oh, that's heavy. It's yeah. really heavy. That could be traumatic. But that was the old Star Wars. Things happened. People died. Like, it wasn't all just, oh, CGI crap. It was, yes. It was a great, you know, morality tale, dark, light, Well, violence. yeah, it's basically a space opera, right? Yeah. But, you know, I want Shakespeare in space. Yeah, you're yeah. going to get it, hopefully. Good. Because yeah. a lot of the stuff coming out of the set has shown that he's using real animatronics and real puppets oh, and no so blue screen. Bigger chis and miniatures. I love that. Learned that from Lord of the Rings. That's really yeah. good stuff. Thank now, you. your first reaction on seeing the teaser trailer, what did you think about the lightsaber? I haven't well, even seen it. You haven't, haven't seen the trailer? Seen it. I've been so busy. All I want you guys to tell me. Like, it's looking okay. good. What's, it's, what's with the lightsaber? Oh, no. I, oh. It's, a little, it's a little cross. Like, it goes... <laughs> Like it's, you know how it's swords like have that. hilts? You know how swords are like a guard yeah. to stop your hand getting sliced off? Yeah, yeah so this guy pulls oh, out a lightsaber smart. and a little thing goes across. And are we getting medieval? Because that's my other nerd thing is like, I love it. I it's want Jedi's in armor. Like I want Jedi's in like black <laughs> armor with, oh. I want advanced D&D in space. Yes. Right. I'm just thinking, when is the new, the new, new album going to come out? Because we could just throw some Star Wars themes in there, get it out at the same time. This could work. Well, I don't know if you noticed, Tegan, but there was a song called Dead Star on the last album, or Dead Stars. And my brother was always, he would always sing Death Star. Like, you are the light from a Death Star. I was like, don't think the Death Star actually shoots a light. It, and when it does, it's not a good it thing. It will kill you. Yes. It will blow up your planet, <laughs> your home planet. Oh, yes. wow, relationships. So the new one, not yet. Yeah, relationships. That was the last <laughs> relationship. Hopefully this new record, it's literally the new record. Well, I can, this is an exclusive. I'll give you the scoop. It's going to be two records, one called Venom, just to have my final word on the last relationship. <coughs> and then one called new, new Magic, where I force myself to get positive again and right. I force myself to look into a, a bright new day hopefully <laughs> are you are you one of those people because I find when I'm in a bad mood or if I'm dealing with something like a breakup I fall to pieces and my creativity falls to pieces but are you one of these fortunate people who thrive in the yeah or unfortunate because I seem to create a whole lot of <laughs> crap to go through for myself yeah no I'm very prolific when I'm upset and so hopefully new magic is going to change that too I'm going to yeah. be prolific and happy that's my mantra for 2015 fantastic and if people want to catch up and get in tongues, where can they do that? They can get it online. They can get it at the good old iTunes store. Good and they can iTunes. also buy it from my geeks. So jump online and follow me on social media and I'll tell you where I'm gigging. And I will sell you a CD or a vinyl and I can sign that for you and all of that good where stuff. Where is the next gig? Um, there's three in a row up in New South Wales at nice. the Lazotte's venues and they're so beautiful. They're like dinner and a show, dimly lit, good for a date. If, nice. you, if you're planning on doing some macking on someone. I'm sort of going to strip that back and not take the rock band. I'm going to take my quiet band and try and make it really sad and intimate. And You've got lovely. different bands to pull from. I do, I do. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes when I'm flying to smaller venues, I just want to take two musicians with me and other times I want to take the whole rock band. So Great. this one's going to be more intimate. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for coming. I really Thanks. just want to keep talking to you about yeah, Star Wars, yeah. but we've got to keep moving. Thank you so much for coming on, and people should go and check out Ella's gigs and buy all of her music because it's such good music. Thank Can't you. Can't wait to hear the new album. May the force be with you, Tegan. May the force be with you. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>